Hey, what's up, YouTube? Let's do a little bit of calculus three. So partial derivatives, what are they? So let me show you. So say we have a function, f of x, y. Uh, it's a function of two variables. So you write it like this. You have an x comma y. And say it's uh, x squared plus xy plus y squared. And let's say we decide to take the derivative of this. Well, we use something called partial differentiation when we do that. So the notation for the partial derivative is del, so del like deli, so del f and then del x. This is called the partial derivative of f with respect to x. It's read del f del x. And what you do when you're taking this is you treat all of the other variables as constants, right? So like the y squared is a constant. And so if you remember, the derivative of a constant is zero. So the derivative of this y squared is going to be zero, right? So here you just take the derivative of x squared like you normally would, so it'd be 2x. Here you have xy, right? But you see the, the x here is your variable, so the derivative of x is 1, and the y is a constant, so it hangs out. So you just get 1 times y, right? So you just get y. And then this derivative here, it's going to be 0, so it's just plus 0. So that's it. So you would just get that. Again, we get 2x here. The derivative of xy with respect to x, right? Well, the derivative of x is 1, and the y hangs out, and then the derivative of y squared is 0. Let's compute del f del y, see if it makes a little more sense. Now we're taking the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Okay, so in this case, all of the other variables are constants. So the derivative of x squared will be 0 in this case. I'll go ahead and put the 0 there. It's going to be 0. Here we're taking the derivative of x, y with respect to y. So the x hangs out, right? And the derivative of y is 1. So it's just plus x times 1, or just x. And then the derivative of y squared is 2y. So in this case, we would get x plus 2y. And that's how you compute partial derivatives. Maybe let's do one more example just so you really get it. So I'm going to erase this. Oh, let's do a function of three variables. Here we go. f, no, four variables. f of x, y, z, w. Ridiculous. And huh, how about this? Let's see. x squared, y squared, z squared, w squared. Let's just do that. Let's keep it simple. Let's do del f, del x. So we're taking the partial derivative of this with respect to x. This means all of the other variables are constants, right? So all of this is constant. This, this, all of these three people here, these three guys, these three people are constants. So we just take the derivative of x squared, so we get 2x, and the rest of that just hangs out. So y squared, z squared, w squared. That's it. Let's do del f, del y. Same thing, in this case, x squared, z squared, w squared is a constant, right? So you take this derivative here, so you just get 2y, and everything else just hangs out. So x squared, z squared, w squared. Let's do del f, del z. Yeah, you can do that, right? You can do it with all the variables. It's great. Um, so these hang out. x squared, y squared, and w squared are constants. So you just get 2z, x squared, y squared, w squared. And let's do one more. Let's do del f, del w. In this case, x squared, y squared, and z squared are all constants. So when we take this partial, it'll just be 2w, so 2w, and then we just have x squared, y squared, z squared. So that's how you compute partial derivatives. I hope that's made sense. That's it.